From the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. This week, in the broadcast studios, religion and ethics debated the impact of President Obama's announcement that religious employers will not be mandated to offer free contraceptives to workers. I don't think the issue has gone away, especially in an election year, because we have seen a lot of people really, really latching on to it and seeing it, as we said, as, as symbolic of a bigger problem. And it's not just the bishops, it's not just Catholics, a lot of evangelicals, some Jewish organizations as well, very concerned about what they see as a trend. Two state attorneys general went head to head in a press club newsmaker debate about the health care bill. If you can be ordered to buy this, you can be ordered to buy a car, to buy asparagus, to buy a gym membership. That's not what this is about. It is about making sure the people who do and will use a certain amount of health care uh, have it funded and paid for in an appropriate way. At a newsmaker event, a former U.S. ambassador spoke of a disconnect between Israel and the U.S. in terms of current changes in the Middle East. When Mubarak fell literally from one day to the next, made Israel question how much the United States would be behind Israel. He believes Iran's nuclear program is a serious world threat. Um, and I don't believe sanctions will have any effect on the fact of their program. Even if they have to go around in, on horses, uh, they will start, they will keep their program going as long as they can. Civil rights leaders announced a five-day march to highlight voter suppression experienced in the recent primaries. But there must be a national call. This is the national call so that we can deal with the Floridas and deal with the South Carolinas and others and force the Justice Department to do it. From Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. I'm Ken Gillio.